हेलो वेलकम टू द सेल्फ लर्निंग पॉडकास्ट बाय डॉक्टर सुषमा सिंह लेट अस स्टार्ट डिस्कशन ऑन यूनिट टू कॉन्सेप्ट एंड थियोरी एंड आवर टॉपिक इज टुवर्ड्स सोशल साइंस दरखाइम वेबर एंड बियॉन्ड there has been a lot of discussion whether social sciences can flow the method of natural sciences these need separate discussion comte durkheim and radcliffe brown answered yes delthe a historian took the other view weber tried to follow the middle path on different occasions systems of explanation have been tried and these have been called grand theories which could be applied to several inquiries or cases at least that is the claim marxism and parsisian systems belong to that category then there are descriptions at the empirical level facts gathered and put into tables without any explanation these are not theories per se but theories can be made through proper analysis the kinds of study of suicide rates and explanation to their variations is the best example of theory formation from the existing data it will be helpful to understand his method firstly durkheim clarified the term and located three or four types of the suicides and their nature for each type the existing data available in official records were classified in terms of their distribution in various social categories this classification needed intelligence and brilliance of the author each type of suicide rate varied according to the data on social facts and comparison were made explanations were given for each type a theory of suicide was formed in terms of the variations of the degree of integrated or solidarity in society let us recall now max weber formulations his theories the key words the protestant ethics and capitalism were defined after going through the literature their ideal types were defined cases where both were present and not present were defined comparison in the historical setting were attempted and existing data on the type of education prevalent in each religious group were compared a conclusion on the coincidence of the rise of capitalism in protestant dominated regions were confirmed why this interrelationship holds is ex- examined how is the explanation of this case related to the general history of civilizations is attempted path breaking studies such as these continue to receive attention among the scholars from related subjects as well as the main discipline over a period of time it happens that certain parts of a theory receive greater attention in the subsequent studies that kamian studies on suicide received attention at the heads of psychologist and social psychologist in particular and they begin reexamining the loss of a sense of security as a possible explanation beside others one of the types of the suicide was classified as anomic a group of writers considered this concept as central to the analysis of modern societies 
in turn they begin to delink the concept from that of solidarity in introduced more psychological variable in it while martin retained the social component as control thus succeeding social scientists find an alternative relevance of the concept and try to look at problem of a different age through it now let us move to max weber the second example refers to max weber his treatment of the protestant ethics gave rise to the counterpoint at the heads of writers treating the catholic hindu shinto and confucian faith suggesting a sort of negation of negation marxist scholars pinpointed on structural factors as being more decisive than the cultural as propounded by weber yet most of the asian dialogue on entrepreneurship kept alive the debate with weber within the cultural framework mario rutan in the article on the study of entrepreneurship in india neatly summarizes the position and calls for greater interaction among the two major approaches there have been ample discussion on weber versus marx and a sort of convergence signifying marx and weber as complement of each other yet other variations of weber are found in the conceptualization of ethno methodology and phenomenology wherein actors point of view is being given primacy over others within marxism one comes across the increasing emphasis on empirical studies of the subaltern as well as other political forms of dominance the classical writers who developed ways of looking at social facts currents and actions in their own times are being increasingly discovered for their relevance and addressing the problems of the new societies or our contemporary period this dynamism constitutes the process of science linking concepts and theories of the classical writers and modern situations now let us move to the next point parsons and martens among the 20th century writers talcott parsons is the most significant one for conceptualizing human actions and connecting economy polity institutions and pattern mainten- maintenance this exercise required contribution from economics anthropology psychology and society and their integration as a general theory of action as parsons grew mature he examined economy polity family and professions especially medicine as a subsystem and in connection with valued colleagues looked into specific of the american society in discussing writers of significance spread over a lifetime with the same contributions appearing posthumously a question is raised about the continuity of the academic effort involved critic at times find that the young author was different from the mature one the young being more general and the mature being more specific this is what one gets by looking at the marks with 1848 serving as a dividing line more or less the philosophical manuscripts and the communist manifest belong to that period the capital to the next a similar exercise on parsons suggests that the 
publication of to, towards a general theory of action and to an extent social system mark the first phase. Now, let us move to the next point theories of society. Thereafter, specific gained currency and the treatment got manifestly grounded in the empirical situation of the American society. We have hinted at the influence Parsons had on Indian scholarship in a different unit. Some critics commented upon Parsons that he was guilty of using too many concepts to state his position and synthesize the effects. Their abuse earned him more critic than supporters. Yet from among the galaxy of his students and co-workers, we get more and more specific studies of various aspects of society. Martin was among the most serious of the students who attempted a fresh combination of empirical studies and grand theory taking some aspects selectively at a time. Harry M. Johnson passed on the gains of the entire approach in a textbook entitled Sociology, which go translated in Hindi by Yogesh Atal, who had spent a semester with Martin. Other writers studied the family, religion, economy and polity. Martin is important for having coined the phrase theories of the middle range, middle between grand theory and pure description. He thought that at that level theory had a heuristic purpose that is acting as a guide for further research including field studies. Accordingly, he systematized cl classical explanation for use as tools of research of modern societies and to an extent modified old concepts giving them a new relevance and vibrancy. He did this for function by pinpointing three categories function, dysfunction and non-function and to look for a balance of consequences of the three. He devised the protocol of observation that would permit gathering of information with a potential for being understood in the functional perspective. At the conceptual level, he had a fresh look at the analysis a comparison between the sociology of knowledge and at the level of nature, cosmopolitan and local press. He clarified social aspects of anomie, the conflict between the accepted goals of a society and the use of rather open means for achieving the same and then the specification of the theory of the rule set and the reference group as examples of the middle range theory developed at different stages of the inquiry. Martin's other contribution lay in attempting some questions set by financing agencies and using the opportunity for developing concepts that would acquire explanatory power in the broad frameworks of social theory and social structure. In the preface to a volume and social problems, he distinguished between social problems and sociological problems, a point well taken by the MS Gore in most of his presentations and deliberation in the Indian setting. Conceptualizing for studying special features of the Indian society has been attempted by M. N. Shirinivas through Sanskritization and the dominant caste. Adrian C. Mayer found it useful to study municipal elections in Devas town of Madhya Pradesh through the operation of quasi groups. For a specific situations, in the nature of actions sets. 
there is an increasing trend in sociology in India for showing the limits within which some of the concepts were made popular in the West can help us grasp the nature of the social processes operating in India. Little community and peasant society are some of the examples and others can be added. Now let us conclude the unit. Words and concepts are products of mind and when their meaning is shared, communication of ideas takes place in daily life as well as in academic circle. The development of science made the meanings more and more specific as also grammar and logic. Natural sciences connect concepts with experiments and conclusion affect the interconnection among various concepts and their combinations. Science keeps on growing and doubling itself faster than social sciences or humanities. History of ideas is more significant for the later as old formations and theories are discovered to provide insight into current problems. Yet, Refinements keep on happening. This has been illustrated chiefly with respect to the methods and approaches used by the Durkheim and Webers and the nature of the middle range theories initiated by Martin over the grand theories of Parsons. In the body of unit, the manner in which words like structure and function have developed has been briefly touched upon. Students are advised to study the related material supplied in specific unit. Martin also developed protocols for observation and paradigms for studying questions in a theoretical or structural perspective. The next lesson deals with the paradigms and theories. Now let us wind up the session and take rest. Thank you very much for engaging yourself with the self-learning podcast and we have come to the end of the unit.